An invertebrate is an animal that doesn't have a backbone. They're the most populous organisms on this earth, but they're also the ones that we understand the least about. I'm Nikki Trailer Knowles. I'm an assistant professor in marine biology and ecology, and I'm also the director of the Voss Marine Invertebrate Collection. It's a collection of marine invertebrates, so ones that are found all over the Western Atlantic, as well as Western Panama. The animals that are housed here, many of them are not found anywhere else in the world. And it's really a great snapshot into time for us to understand not only the evolution of organisms, but also to understand the genetic persistence of organisms. The Voss Marine Invertebrate Collection started around 1943 by Walton Smith. And in 1948, Gil Voss took over the collection as a graduate student. Later, he met Nancy Voss and they got married and then started really running this place to become a really world-class research museum. So we have over 132,000 lots that span over 23 phyla. Many of the animals that we house here have never been characterized before. And so we have this unique opportunity to discover new organisms, as well as understand from a climate change perspective how organisms' ability to adapt to climate change has shifted over time. Besides that, it can extract the DNA for the genetic studies to try to understand evolution on biodiversity. It starts off with the class and the order of classification. Nancy Voss, in my opinion, is the reason that this collection's still here. When Gil Voss died, she took over and really helped sustain and maintain this collection. Without her, I wouldn't be sitting here talking about it. She was 92 years old until she was coming here every single day. She was an amazing trailblazing scientist and researcher. That's really what drives me, is that I can carry on her legacy. Whether they knew it or not, with the way they were, were collecting, it's actually, I think, even become more valuable than they initially thought. You could collect a coral from a specific spot that was previously collected here. We could do DNA analysis on it and compare how the DNA has shifted over time. I think that's really valuable to help us understand the effects of climate change on invertebrates. So a lot of different scientists from around the world use our resources, in particular a lot from South America and Central America, and it's a snapshot into history that if we lose this, we're losing so much information. The preservation of the, uh, of the material is important, but at the same time, we want all this information to be accessible. We really envision that we can revitalize the research and education here. We really want to incorporate graduate education as well as undergraduate education to help enhance and broaden the reach of this collection. Mm -hmm.